we are in NAMM 2012, and it wouldn't be NAMM if we couldn't stop and talk to Leon Dewan and uh, from Dewanatron. And he's got a new piece out here. Uh, we talked to him about the swarm, Swarmtron last year, and this one is called the Hymtron. Hymnatron. Hymnatron. Because it's suitable for hymns. It's, it's suitable for hymns. It's great for producing futuristic, ecclesiastical, or secular music. Excellent. So can you tell us a little bit about it? Sure. Well, the fundamental principle, oh yes, well the fundamental principle of the Hymnatron is that it's able to play chords that are in just intonation. And just intonation refers to when the chord is actually perfectly in tune with itself. Now, very few of us have ever heard a chord that's perfectly in tune with itself because if you're pulling from the same bucket of notes to make all your chords and they're perfectly in tune in one key, it's going to be out of tune in other keys. So there's something called equal temperament, which is the way they fudge all the notes so that everything is equally out of tune in all keys. But this is fundamentally different. What we're doing is we're creating a perfect chord and then moving the root note around. So here's a, here's a G chord that's perfect. You can hear there's no beating between the root and the third and the fifth. It's pretty much just a very straight chord. But you have all these harmonics that are popping out, which you may or not be able to hear in this 110 decibel nam din. I can actually hear it. Oh, good, 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 good. Excellent, excellent. Because we have each voice going through a wave folder, three wave folders in series, and each wave folder is controlled by its own individual LFO. And you just get a whole bunch of harmonics popping out for each voice. So when you have four voices that are perfectly in tune, you get all these harmonics that are also matching up. So it's a binary keyboard. So here's a C chord, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, A flat, A, and so on. You can get your first inversion, your second inversion, and these three keys bump up the different um, root third or fifth notes so you can get various inversions. You can get a you can get a major chord. If you hold both of these pedals down, you get a minor chord, or a suspended fourth chord, or a suspended second chord. You can have the bass note either be an octave below the root, or an octave below the third, or an octave below the fifth, or two octaves below the root for that super bassy sound. Each voice has its own individual portamento. So if you want to start with one perfectly in tune chord and then rematerialize at the other end of the transporter, or if I make it even more extreme, you can hear it locking in. But that's not all. There's also this feature called Quake where you have each voice being interrupted to whatever degree you want, at whatever rate you want, with whatever pulse width you want. So here they are almost all on. Here they're almost all off, or anything in between. So you can get your own herky-jerky rhythm. And then if you start playing that with a glide on, it sounds like a circus on psychedelic drugs. It does have psychedelic drug circus written all over it. Well, yeah, written all inside of it, too. <laughs> but then also, like, if you get sick of gliding around, you can cut the glide in mid-glide. mid, mid -glide. Let me turn off the quake so you can hear that. So here you have a chord, right? But let's say you want to start gliding up to a C chord just go there. Now what do we got on the side here? I see we got a CV in. You so have you a got whole bunch of CV ins. So basically you have a CV in that can take the place of each keyboard, but you can also play the keyboard along with the CV that's going in. So the, the CV will electronically press down different keys and you can still control it with other keys. You also have, so you have a CV for the root, so you can control the root in this discrete fashion, or you have another CV that will actually control the root in a continuous fashion, so you can mix that continuous thing and the discrete mode 
you know, with two CVs simultaneously. And you have a CV for whether it's a major or a minor chord or a suspended second or a suspended fourth. And you have a CV for whether the bass follows the root, the third, the fifth, or an octave below the bass. And you also have a trigger in for the ADSR. Oh, I, didn't even ex I didn't even demonstrate the ADSR, but it has an envelope, of course. And uh, that's what the CVs are for. Uh, you, I, I can't go before I talk a little bit about the cabinet uh, oh, yes. casing here because you guys always have the most creative well, thank stuff you. this way. That, that's pretty much my cousin, the genius of Brian Dewan. So he, Brian Dewan. Brian Dewan builds all the cases, and I build all the electronics inside. And we both think of what the instruments are going to do, and then we both complete the instruments in my basement. Well, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, the Hymnotron. We're talking to Leon Duan and... Would you like to hear a short hymn? Sure, we're going to hear a short hymn. This is called, Our God, Our Help in Ages Past. Um, just a second, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, creativity is still alive. <laughs> NAM 2012. Thank you, Leon. Oh, thank Appreciate you. It. Thank you very much. <laughs>